I got the idea from my mom when Mr. Valenz was talking about uh, how he used to look, which was kind of old, overgrown, um, and disgusting, as he would say. So I thought of the idea to turn it into something useful and pretty. So you have the benches and the walkways and the tables. And that can all be used for like faculty or teacher use for lunches, like going out here when it's warm, or for students when they want a private reading time or a quiet place. Um, also, you could do some things with the plants here, um, just observing them for a little class assignment or something. Um, How much more do you have to go before you complete the work you have to do to become Eagle Scout? Uh, the work for Eagle Scout. Uh, what's left is the paperwork for all this because there's the project part and then there's the paperwork where you have to describe it, describe all the problems, I guess you would say, and then anything else that happened during it. And then you would also have to complete merit badges, which are 21 minimum. Um, 18 are Eagle required, and then the other three are ones you do on your own. Uh, you have to hold a position in your troop for over six months while you're a Life Scout, which is the rank before Eagle. Um, you have to have a Scoutmaster conference where you basically um, have a calm, small, uh, calm little interview with the leader of the troop, and they would kind of guide you to the next step, which is a board of review. And what's that, the mo what's the most important thing you learned doing this project? Uh, I think it's that you need to like be able to talk to people and lead them because you are leading not only younger kids, but you're leading adults too. And as a junior, you kind of don't want to tell this 47-year-old guy what to do. <laughs>